Hi. Good evening. How are you? Hi, Jonathan, are you there? Hi. Yes. Hello. Good, excellent. All right. Um, all right, let me see. I also have um, Michelle. How are you, Michelle? I'm fine. Are you? Pretty good. Thank you. Um, yeah. Um, how how was your week? Your work week? I think was good, normal, only with the the with the rain. Mm -hmm. um, my internet um, had some problems, but I think was good. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know. Uh, right now, um, apparently, what is happening uh, with many. Uh, well, with um, some of the servers is that it, since there are so many people that are working from home, uh, it's it, they're having problems with it. And I guess the weather is not cooperating either. So that that doesn't really help. So hopefully we will we will get that fixed very soon. Yeah. And uh, Marcela, how are you? I'm fine, Jessica. And I'm hungry too. <laughs> You're hungry? Hunger. Hunger, hambrienta. You're hungry, yeah, hungry. Hungry, I'm hungry and so, so tired mm. because I studied early in the morning my day because today is my daughter's birthday. Oh, okay. She oh. is 19 years old. Wow, okay. Yeah, and so I must to prepare um, a breakfast and a, how do you say refrigerio? Snack. Uh, a snack. A snack. Snack because she is working. And, mm -hmm. and after that, I, I was. I have been working so so hard. <laughs> oh, okay, but do you do you um have tomorrow off, or are you also working tomorrow? Well, let me tell you, uh, my we I have week enough, but my boss yeah. is was crazy, and she asked ask today it we must work tomorrow in the morning, but. I have uh, several things and commitments to do for tomorrow. For example, I need to go to the uh, vet, vet uh, veterinaria. I need to go to the vet. The vet, yes, you have to go to the vet. To, poop, to puppies, puppies. And oh. I need the, the vet, uh, mm -hmm. apply a vacuna. I don't know, how do you say that, vacuna? The shot. The shot. Shot. Mm -hmm. The shot, and I need to make a surgery to my other doll, other doll, because I need to. Uh, how do you say castrar? Oh, um, the surgery. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. It's it's just that uh, I don't remember which one is which. You say spay and neuter, but I don't remember which one is which. Um, I don't know if the spay is for for female. I think spay is female and neuter is, is for male. But let me just make sure. Um, to spay, let's see. To spay. Um, yeah, because spay and neuter is the, the, the words, but I just don't remember which one is which. If one is, which one is for a boy and which one is for a girl. Um, and also, uh -huh. and also, I need to go to to Anda to make a, a claim. Claim is reclamo. Uh huh. Yeah. To make a claim because my my water bill is so so high, and 
uh -uh, it's not my <laughs> my charge so mm -hmm. i can't work tomorrow but for for that i say my boss is crazy <laughs> yeah i know it sometimes happens right like i mean but uh they give you the option of saying no do they give you that option um i'm sorry i like uh, they ask you to 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 work tomorrow but can you say no or do you have to say yes no, i i explain all of all of my commitments for tomorrow but she says uh, she said it's like an obligation and uh, mm, i'm new in this in this job so i oh. need to to do yeah her yeah 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 especially when you're new you have to kind of um you have to be flexible yeah so and unfortunately i'm sorry about that um mm -hmm. i'm right now putting on the chat the word spay and neutered i just found out that neuter is the one for a boy is casar, and spay would be a city set so that would be for a girl mm -hmm. So you can you can you can spay and neuter your 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 pets. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you're you. Welcome. Thanks, you're welcome. You're welcome, guys. Um, so uh, I guess we have. Well, I see we have about seven people here. Um, all right, guys. Well, thank you for joining our class. I know that this is not like a regular schedule. Usually Friday, we don't have class, but you guys know that, you know, this was just for this a special arrangement for this week. So I really, really appreciate that. Um, and also I know that you guys um, probably are having a little bit of problems with your internet. Um, apparently this is something that, uh, you know, many people are having problems with their internet uh, because of the situation. Um, as I was mentioning, apparently it's because there are too many people that are working from home. So, you know, that that kind of makes things a little bit unstable um, because the servers, I guess, um, are oversaturated, right? And the, the weather, I guess, doesn't help very much either. But hopefully um, we are able to get through the class. I just wanna let you know in case um, my, my internet goes bad and then boom, I'm disconnected. Because uh, last week actually did happen. Last week we had, I had a power outage. Um, so um, hopefully it doesn't affect the class. Um, but yeah, just to let you know in case. All right, guys. Um, so two days ago, I asked you guys to, um, to do a conversation and we were only able to hear two groups. And I promised you guys that we would be listening to the other groups. Um, I didn't uh, I, I didn't get a chance to do that yesterday, but I wanted to get to do that today. Um, so I have here in group number four from last time, we had uh, Stephanie and Michelle. Uh, but Stephanie is not here, so you're saved, Michelle. <laughs> okay. Um, and uh, let's see. Um, and then we had Delia and Jonathan, but Delia is not here today. So aren't also Jonathan is saved. <laughs> okay, Delia is not here. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Good evening. Teacher. Good evening, Jonathan. Classmates. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, it's okay. Don't worry. Um, okay. And then, yeah. Uh, let me see. Sonia already passed. Um, Claudia, you were not here. Were you here, Claudia? In, were yes. you, did you do the, the, the conversation? Yes. Yes? Who were you working yes. with? With Lisette and I, I don't remember who are the, the other people. 
What do you said? You were working with Lisette. Okay. But Lisette was working with Sonia. Did you pass the three of you? Oh, I don't remember. Sonia, were you working with Claudia? Sonia, are you there? No? Yes, yes oh. teacher. Okay, uh, good. Um, were you working with Claudia? Uh, this was two yes. days ago when we did the conversation. Were you working with Claudia? Uh, no. Or no, you don't remember? Uh, okay. I don't. You don't remember. It's okay. Don't worry. It's okay. Not a problem. Don't worry. I, teacher, I think so with me, Sonia, yesterday. No, no, this was not yesterday. There was, this was uh, on it's Tuesday. Not this was on oh. Tuesday. Maybe with oh, me, okay. but I don't, I don't remember <laughs> very well. <laughs> no, Marcela, you were working uh, with Lenin. Ah, yeah, right, right. Mm -hmm. And you already passed. Yeah. Irania, were you here two days ago? Were you in class? Uh, on Tuesday? No, 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 sorry, sorry, on Wednesday. No, 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 I can't. You were not, Wednesday. yeah. Oh, yeah, no. that, that's why you don't appear on my list. Yeah, it's okay. All right, so we're just going to forget about it because um marcella already passed sonia already passed too jonathan doesn't have his partner claudia we're not sure who was who was claudia working with uh michelle was working with stephanie uh but um she's not here either and Danny was on here so we'll just forget about that um but what we do need to do is the following and yesterday we started talking a little bit about um, adjectives with past uh, with the present and past participle, right? So, could you guys remind me a little bit about what are the verb the adjectives that are in the present and past participle? Could you give me both the the adjective in the in the present participle and in the past participle? So, Jonathan, we'll start with you. Can you give me an adjective? Um, uh, adjective. I remember yesterday, you said excited was an adjective and was participle exciting. Uh, for example, the, the, um, the adjective uh, you talk about the qualifi qualified, the nom, a nom, sorry. But uh, use when you when you use participle, you talk about the feeling uh, mm -hmm. about the noun, no? Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. For for example, uh, I am excited for the match. I talk about my feeling, but uh, I the match is excited. I talk about the match. No? So yeah. simple. Exactly. Okay. Very good. Very good, Jonathan. Okay, so excite is so the present participle would be exciting. Uh, sorry. Uh-huh. Exciting. Yeah, exciting. Okay. And then the past participle is excited. Excited. Very good. Okay. So which okay. which one is the one that describes your your feelings? Uh, with participle, describe the feeling with participle. Which one, um, present or past? Uh, present, 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 sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. um, past, mm -hmm. you talk about, um, no? No, it's the other way around. Yeah, pre present, 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 present participle, mm -hmm. you talk about the feeling. And past participle, no, past, only past, sorry, only past, you talk about the, uh, Qualify, is adjective 
when you qualify the noun. Okay. Um, so which uh, one? I mix. Sorry. I it's mixed okay. It's okay. Jonathan. Let me make it a little bit easier for you. Um, I confused. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Let me let me let me make it easier for you. If I'm going to use exciting or excited, which one would I use to describe my feelings? Exciting or excited? Ex exciting. Which one? Exciting. Exciting. The first. The first one. Um, yeah. Actually, it's the second one. It's the second one. So I'm going to use excited to talk about my feelings. So I'm going to say, I am excited about um, the party this weekend. I'm excited. Okay. So you use the past participle when you are talking about your feelings. Okay. Okay. All right. Past participle about your feelings. Now, which one do we use to describe the situation or the thing or person that causes a that causes a feeling? Excited or exciting? Exciting. Exactly. You would use exciting okay. to talk about uh, the situation, the person, or the thing that causes the feeling okay to give you an example uh we can say the movie was exciting right um the the party is exciting um my new job is exciting it causes the feeling okay does that make sense, Jonathan? Okay. Uh, other, other example. Give me a minute. Um, oh, okay, boring. Um, the video game was born. The video game was born because the graphics are bad. Yeah, and, and, and boring. Uh, my friends are boring for uh, for my friends are boring for the clowns don't have love. Okay, if you say my friends are boring, what friends I mean boring. is boring is my it literally means mis amigos son aburridos. No, no, no. Um uh, the 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 um uh, uh, the, the TV show uh, is the, the TV show is is bad mm -hmm. mm, for for that reason my friends are bored are bored are bored are bored exactly yeah ed my friends are bored yeah. you can say the tv show is boring so the my friends are bored okay. Mm -hmm. that's okay but if you say my friends are boring you're saying Mis amigos son aburridos. Oh, okay. Which could be true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it could be true. Really, really. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> yeah. Like TV shows. Okay. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it happens. Okay. okay. All right. Okay, good. So, class, um, just give me then two, two, two um, adjectives. Give me the present and the past participle. So, Claudia, give me an adjective in the present and past participle. Another example? Hello. Hi. Um, I am bored to spend much time watching TV. Okay, good. 
and give me the other one. The, the novel was boring. All right. You understand novel? You understand what novel is? What? You, you do understand what novel is, right? I just want to make sure you understand the difference between novel and soap opera, right? Because novel is for reading and soap opera is to watch. With, on uh, okay. Soap? Soap. Soap opera. Soap opera. Yeah, soap opera. That's a... For the, the book was boring. Yeah, no, it's okay. You could say for the book, you can say novel. That's fine. A novel is okay, but novel is a book. Whereas, I'm going to write in the chat. The novel is a book, whereas the soap opera is for TV. Okay. Okay, does that make sense? Okay. Okay, good. Um, all right, good. Sonia, can you share one with me? An example. Yeah. And I'm satisfied with the work done. And the other, the work is satisfying when you do on time. Excellent. I really like that one. Very good. Very, very good. Okay. All right, Michelle, give me one. Um, my math class is confusing, so I felt worried because I have to pass my exam. Okay, good, excellent. You use different adjectives, but the idea with using the ing form and the and the ed was fine, which is perfect, right? So one was confusing. And the other one was worried. So that's fine. Yeah, very good. Excellent. All right, Marcela. Okay, hey, wait a moment. Logan is extremely interested in the real life. Can you repeat that, Marcela? Logan is extremely interested in the real life. Can you hear me better? Uh, yeah, but did you say that Logan is extremely interest, uh, interested? interested? Yes. In real life. Am I grown? <laughs> um, remember, interested means that you are, you have an interest in something. You tiene interés en algo. So you have to say interested in something. Interesting. Or, the word is interesting, not interest. Oh, okay. Interesting with ing. Okay, Logan is extremely interesting. Interesting in the real life. Is better now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would probably change the the strongly um, okay. to the highly. Change the word strongly to highly. So he's highly interesting in real life. Okay. And then the you would say strongly interested in real life. I'm strongly interested in blah, 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 blah. Okay. All right, but that's very good, excellent. And the other one with, with, the, with the ED? Okay, what a moment. He's an an amongst victim. I don't know how do you say how do you pronounce una muse said an amused. 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 Mm -hmm. amused. Okay. He's an amused victim. Amused victim. 
Hmm. What do you mean by that? Can you repeat, please? What do you mean by amused victim? For a tiger or lion? What, what do you understand by amused? Okay. <laughs> uh, it's like uh, funny. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, amused means that you, uh, in you are enjoying something. Yeah, it's like and funny. No, that you enjoy it. Uh -huh. Okay. Um. So, for example, uh, you can say, um, that in Spanish, amused would be. Entretenido. Yo estoy ah, entretenido. Es como, es como cuando uno eh, malamente se burla de alguien, o sea, se está como, no. Could be, it could be, I mean, but, but not, not necessarily in that context. Uh, you're just saying that you enjoy something. So I am amused by this means that I enjoy that, that thing that the thing makes me feel enjoyed, like it, it causes enjoyment. Yeah. So you could say, for example, I am amused, yo soy entretenido, um, o entretenida, eh, con, um, play video game. I'm amused, usually it's, um, yeah. Yeah, it's usually something that you would see and that you really enjoy. And that's, um, yeah, something like you're a speculator. Yeah, does that make sense, Marcela? Okay, okay, Jessica, thank you. Yeah, so, it, so just be careful because in, in the sentence that you have there, it's like you're saying, uh, ellos son víctimas entretenidas, which doesn't, I don't know, I, it doesn't really. Okay. I, I try to explain you why I use this sentence. Uh -huh. Because I saw a video okay. where appeared two boys fighting uh -huh. in the restroom uh -huh. and op opened the door of the other a bathroom and there are a, a red hair a boy a making making poop <laughs> I don't know how, how can okay. I explain that okay. so was was uh, funny but I know the the boy who is making a uh, poop <laughs> was uh, very um, was like a victim of the other two boys that was fighting. <laughs> okay, okay. That's a very interesting um, situation there. <laughs> I, okay, it's not a very normal situation. <laughs> okay, um, hmm, okay. He's an amused victim. Unless, unless the guy was enjoying, like he's a victim and he was enjoying being the victim. Kind of no. like masochism. Only, only me. <laughs> yeah, in that case, it, you would only say that if the person enjoys being the victim. Okay. Okay, so yeah. I it. Like I said, I mean, it, it does exist. There are people <laughs> like that, but you know, not, that wouldn't be like the normal context, <laughs> let's say, let's say. Does that make sense, Priscilla?
Marcella, does that make sense to you? With uh, another um, word. Okay. Using... Sorry, because I have a low connection. Oh, it's okay. I understand. I totally understand. Don't worry. Well, well, we're going to be very patient in this in, in this class because we totally understand that the the internet connections are not really good right now. So don't worry. Okay, another another example. Mm -hmm. Marcela is confused today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, that 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 does work. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much, Marcela. <laughs> Okay, good. Excellent. Thank you, Marcela. Okay. Um, and I think the last one we have is Irania. Irania, you want, you want to share with us? Okay. The examples? Okay, the number one. The, Sorry? Um, the grammar is confusing for me. Mm -hmm. Good, excellent. Grammar is confusing for me. Mm -hmm. Good. And the other one with the with the past participle. I am ex excited about my new motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. All right. Okay, um, yeah, very good. All right, guys, so the, it seems like you guys understand uh, the difference there between the two. I just wanna make sure you do understand it. So I'm going to show you some, uh, some pictures there of different movies. And I want you to tell me a little bit about, um, about how you feel when we talk about these movies, okay? So, um, Give me a second here while I pull out the, the PowerPoint presentation. Okay, um, I want you to tell me if you can see this. Um, so when you see when you can see the PowerPoint presentation, let me know. I'm just a second here. All right, so I wanna know if you can see this. Can you guys see that? Yes, no? Yes. Okay, good. All right. So here we have two questions. First question, how did you feel before or how did you feel after watching this movie? You guys have, have seen that movie before? Have you guys seen this movie or no? Mm -hmm. Yes, no? Have you seen the movie? Yes? No. No, you've never seen this movie? No. Really? Oh, wow. Okay. Who has seen this movie? 
Sonia, Irania, Michelle, Claudia, Marcela, Jonathan, have you ever seen this movie? No, nobody has ever no. seen this movie. No. Oh, <laughs> I cannot believe it. See? Wow. Okay, but you know which movie it is. You don't you do know what movie it is, right? No? No. Okay, okay. This is a movie with Will Smith. Um, it's actually a very uh, one of those like almost classic movies uh, where um, actually this is a movie where uh, Will Smith worked for the first time with his son Jaden and uh, they worked together. This movie is about a real it's a true story about uh, a man that went through a very, very difficult time in his life where he had no money and his wife left them and he was a single father and he had no money. So I really recommend you see this movie, okay? So if you haven't seen it yet, which apparently you haven't, I recommend you see the movie. Okay, let's see if you've seen the next movie. Have you ever seen this movie? <laughs> okay, all right, so now I, okay, so I can hear that that you have seen it. Okay, so tell me, how did you feel before watching the movie? I can, I, I know I, you guys have seen this movie. I know it probably brings you back to your childhood. So how did you feel when you saw this movie? Before, before seeing the movie. Do you remember how you felt? Mm -hmm. Jonathan, how did you feel before watching the movie? Do you remember this movie? Jonathan, are you there? Okay. Yeah. How, how did you, how, how, uh -huh. can you yeah. listen? Yes, yeah. we, can, we can hear you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I remember that that movie when I was 10 years old. Mm -hmm. um, Simba yeah. was a yeah. little cop. Yeah. Lion cop. Yeah. 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 And yeah. Her, her, father, her father, don't remember the name. Her father or his father? He, uh, his father, sorry, his father, I don't remember the name, mm -hmm. and the uncle was a bad tiger, bad lion, sorry, bad lion, mm -hmm. and because um, Simba, in the future, uh -huh. when, when he grew up, uh, he, he, he will be the king. Right. The jungle king, yeah. Um the her uncle killed his father. Uh-huh. Because because the uh, uncle will be will be the, the king. Okay. The, of, the, of the jungle. Right. And okay. um, Simba uh, have Two friends and that friends care or save his life mm -hmm. and finally Simba fights with the uncle mm -hmm. I, re I don't remember but Simba won the fight and he proclaimed the new king of the jungle and, and finally mm, Simba, I think, grew with friends, and his friends loved them. Mm, but when I was a child, I don't understand the real significant, 
the words love. The, the, the meaning. The meaning. Interesting, uh, the meaning of the love. But the movie in, was in entertainment. Yeah. It was entertaining. The, okay. Yeah, yeah. The King Lion 2 and King Lion 3, I don't, I never watch. Okay, okay, good, excellent. All right, very good. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Uh, we have this one. Have you guys seen this movie? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Okay, Claudia, have you seen this movie? <laughs> no, teacher. No, you have not seen this movie? Mm -hmm. I, oh, okay. I have never seen it. Do you, do you know, but do you know what movie it is? Yes, I, mm -hmm. I watched the trailer. The trailer. Okay. Yes. And what, how did you feel? And, and I know, and I know, um, <laughs> there are a game about this movie. Ah, yes. Okay. Okay, good. So how did you feel when you watched the trailer? Uh, I feel bored because I don't like the um, uh, science fiction. Okay. I think this movie is like, mm -hmm. like, uh, how many fiction. Okay. And I don't like it. I don't like it. So how would you describe there the movie? Is if, if, um, so you said that you 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 felt you thought it was you felt bored. So how would you describe the movie? I don't watch the movie, but only the trailer, and I don't remember well about what it. I only remember some people like with a color blue and in a forest maybe uh -huh. they, um they I, I don't know how to say luchar luchar fight they fight to I don't remember did you? okay no it's fine but okay but the question is how would you describe the movie like so in other words if you thought for you you felt bored, how would you describe the movie? The movie was boring. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, so you would describe the movie as boring. So probably you wouldn't see the movie because for you the movie is boring. Okay, good, excellent. Yeah. All right, I have one more that I want to show you. Have you seen this movie before? Irania, have you seen this movie? No, teacher. No, you've never seen that movie? Do you know what movie no. it is, though? Which title it is? Have you ever seen this movie? No. No, which title? No? No. Nobody has ever seen this movie before. Really? So, for example, the boys as like to Ludovico. Sorry. <laughs> the child <laughs> is like to Ludovico, the familia peluche. Like who? He was a child. Like who? Ah, uh, no, no, it's a TV show, The Familia Peluche. Oh! And they has a little child. The, okay. the, 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 the kid uh -huh. has a right to Ludovico. Okay, okay, now I understand what you're talking about. Okay, all right, I had never thought of it that way, but maybe, I don't know. Okay, all right, 
So, um, Sonia, have you ever seen this movie? No, teacher. No? No. Wow, okay. Claudia, uh, have you ever seen this movie? No, teacher. Um, no? Oh, my God. Okay. I'm showing you classic movies. Okay. I don't know. Now, have you ever seen the movie? Michelle, have you ever seen this movie? No, teacher. No, you don't know which one this is? No. Oh, okay. What about Marcella? You know this movie, Marcella? I guess she's having a little bit of internet connection problems. That's okay. And what about Jonathan? Have you ever seen this movie, heard of it, anything at all? No, no. No. I don't remember the title or the name of the movie. Oh, but you have? Um, never, never liked the um, characters. The characters? Um, not characters, no, no. I, I never watched. Uh-huh, okay, okay. Um, the year, no. Okay. Never. Okay, all right. But maybe you've never seen the movie, but you probably have heard of it. I don't know. Maybe you have. This is a very classic movie. It's actually won Oscars. It's an Oscar winning movie. Um, and it's, the name is Life is Beautiful. Life is Beautiful. And in Spanish, it's called La Vida is Bella. Have you ever heard of that? La Vida is Bella? No? No, no. This is this. This is uh, this movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This movie is called La Vida is Bella, or in English, Life is Beautiful. It's actually originally in Italian. It's when, when um, the father and the, and the son mm -hmm. go to, um, um, I don't know how to say, they are reclutados. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they are captured. Uh, maybe I, I see this movie some uh -huh. years ago. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, you're, you, you are right. You, you probably have seen it. So the, the, me father, the father, the father, the uh, father, this, uh, I'll say, um, the father said to the child that the situation is a game. Right. Okay. But you're absolutely right. But tell them what was the situation? Because we have to understand what the situation is to understand why, why this is so, this is such an impacting movie. What was the situation? Is um, I how I think I don't remember how to say guerra, guerra, war, 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 yeah, war. Uh, at the same prisoner war. No. No, it, it was prisoners. Prisoners of war. War prisoners. War prisoners. We would say. Uh, yes and no. This is actually a specific type of war. This was a very famous war. This was the Second World War. This is the time of the Nazis. Okay, so this movie is a movie about the Holocaust. You guys have heard about the Holocaust, right? That, that family was Jewish? No. Yeah, the thing is that, um, uh, yes, he, well, um, he, if I believe he was, uh, he was Jewish, if I'm not mistaken, um, and, but they were living in Italy, okay, and so what they do oh, is yeah. take, they take him and the little boy prisoners to the concentration camp, and, um, and they take the, 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 
the wife as well. Um, and the thing is that what happens is that uh, the, the, the father, he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to make his son be scared. He doesn't, he wants to protect his innocence. So he pretends that the whole situation is a game that they are playing so that the boy doesn't think that it's so scary. And so the whole movie, uh, he is trying to make it look like, oh, this is a game, well, this is so fun. You have to, you have to pretend like um, you, you have to um, hide so that no one finds you. And, but this is a game so that the person that, uh, if they don't find you, you're the winner, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, what happens is that this is actually a true story. And the, the son never finds out that this is actually, uh, you know, a war and that, that, you know, people are being killed. He never finds out about it. So it's a very emotional movie. Um, definitely, I, re I recommend this movie. It's called Life is Beautiful in English and, or Eleven Days Wait is being in Spanish. Uh, but you, if you can see it in, in English, it's much better, right? So, um, you, know, you know, you can practice being English, of course, okay? Uh, it has won many Oscars. It won many Oscars back in the day. So it's a very good movie. I, I really recommend it. Okay, now speaking about movies, guys, what I want you to do right now is I want you to make a list of common five, five common movies. Make a list right now of uh, five common or famous, there's a famous movies. Okay, so really quickly, make a list of famous movies. I'll give you one minute to do that. You guys finished? Only five. Only the title, the movie? Or yeah, explain. just the title of the movie. No, that's okay. it. Only the title. Okay, so I'm going to get um, you to work. Fast and Furious? No, 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 no. Don't tell me. Don't tell me right now. Uh, I'm going to get you to work. I'm going to give you about three minutes to work with a partner. Tell your partner the movie and your partner is going to tell you how they felt when they saw the movie, if they have seen the movie, and how they would describe the movie, right? It's, it was a movie interesting, boring, amusing, exciting, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? So I'll give you three minutes, a very quick. Okay, okay just a second. Let's see if I can. Okay. Okay. Okay, go ahead, join. Only Irania? Any problems? Okay. Hello, Marcel. Yeah, uh, Marcel, yes, she was um, having a little bit of trouble with the internet, so that could be the problem. Ah, okay, okay, teacher. I'm waiting to her. Okay, it, it, it's okay. In the meet or Marcella, if you can write in the chat, is it possible? Ah, okay, okay. Problem, you can communicate that way. It's only okay. about only one or two more minutes okay it's very okay. thanks teacher
You're welcome. Yes, I remember that I see the first one and some of my cousins uh, watch the, the, the Jumanji, the next level, but uh, to the moment, I have never seen. Uh, yes, the, the others, I see the first when I have, when I, when I, uh, uh, he close of the your girlfriend and all the time things things so with she mm -hmm. okay then with um ya cuando estaban viejos <laughs> um Okay, guys, well, uh, we've come to the end of our class. I hope you guys were able to practice a little bit using uh, the Jaren, sorry, the, the ED and the ING uh, for adjectives. Um, and uh, remember, continue working there on the platform. You should be at the end of uh, section number three already. So if you haven't done it, please work on that. Make sure you are finished there uh, to, uh, this weekend, okay? All right, and um, by next week, we should be working on the midterm, okay? Beginning of next week. All right, any okay. questions? Teacher, the middle exam is for the next week. Uh, you could do it this weekend if you want, uh, but uh, the latest, the beginning of next week, Monday, okay. Friday, you should be doing it, okay? Teacher, yes, because I begin the, the exam, but it's a part, uh, where I have to use, I think is what, no, who, that, yeah, which, but right. I don't know how to use it. Yeah, it's okay. That's what I'm saying. Uh, we So next week, we're going to be looking at that. That's the last topic we need to see from section three. So we will look at that as well. So, but uh, yeah, you, about Monday, something that we will be working on that, okay? All right, guys, so just make sure okay. that you're finishing um, section three so that uh, we will be working on the other part next week. Okay? Okay. All right, guys, take care. See you and have a wonderful weekend. Bye. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Good night, Bye. Good night everybody. Bye. Bye. See you next week. Hello. See you next week.